Dancing at the Museum program. Today we're looking at The Return from the Fields, painted in 1886 by Pierre-Auguste Renoir. We're going to take the next six minutes to do the relaxation together and then we will look at the painting. This is how we always start our sessions after we've all said hello to one another and checked in and see how we all are. We sit in a chair and we take five minutes to relax, to put some very gentle music on and arrive into our bodies, arrive into perhaps moving a little bit more slowly than usual, letting our busy minds still a little bit and preparing ourselves to look at the paintings in an embodied way. So, take a moment to make sure you're sitting comfortably. Make sure there's nothing that's in the way around your feet or on your lap. For this first bit, it might be nice just to take your glasses off and put them somewhere near so that you can find them again easily when we finish the relaxation. And remember this time is for you. This is for you to enjoy, to relax, and we're going to do it together. So here we go. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to take the next four minutes to sit comfortably, to relax before we begin to look at our painting today. And there's no right way of doing this or wrong way. It's simply about enjoying, relaxing, enjoying the music, taking the moment to slow down. So make sure your back is supported by the chair. Make sure both feet are resting on the ground. And bring your hands to your lap. One hand on each thigh. So very slowly we're going to begin to move our hands along our thighs, keeping the bones of the fingers in contact with the bones of the thighs. Bringing your hands towards you and then slowly stroking your hands away. This is really good for helping our selves relax. Letting your breath come gently, easily. See if you can bring your hands to a stop and just take a bit of movement into your fingers as if you're playing the piano very slowly. And just take that bit of movement into your wrists, not really thinking about it, just letting your wrists and your hands move to the music. Again, there's no right, there's no wrong, do whatever feels comfortable. Lovely. And then we're going to take our elbows, lifting them up at the sides slowly and stretching out our arms. Reaching out to either side of us, just letting our breath come gently, softly, bringing the hands back down to the lap. And we're going to do that again, lifting our elbows out to the side, floating them up and then stretching out the arms. That's it. And then slowly bringing our hands back to our laps. We're going to take one hand and let that hand float up slowly like a feather reaching high above us or as high as feels comfortable. And then again, floating that hand back down to your lap. And the other hand floats up, reaching as far above 
as you can go, perhaps reaching for the sky, bringing that hand back down again, softly, gently. Bring both your hands together and just give them a slow, soft rub. And then bring the palms of your hands to your eyes. Rest your eye sockets right into your hands as if you're leaning forward into a warm nest. And taking your fingertips, begin to massage your forehead. Softly feeling the bones of the face. And then taking your fingers to the temples of the face and finding the cheekbones. And then moving the fingers along down to the jawbone. And slowly bringing those hands down along the front of the throat, down towards the heart. Just resting both hands over the heart for a moment. And then continuing with the hands down over the belly, right back to where we began. Hands in the lap. Shoulders relaxed. Just bring your shoulders for one final movement, back up to your ears, and then relax them back down. Lovely. Let your breath come slowly, easily, and rest. And when you're ready, we're going to open our eyes, and we're going to begin to look at our first painting. We'd like to remind you to turn off your phone and settle yourself in a comfortable position. Take the time to ensure nothing is in the way of you sitting or lying comfortably. All you need to do now is follow along, join in and enjoy. You may have a printed copy of the painting near you. Bring it close to your lap or you may be looking at the painting on a screen. Either way, make sure you can see the painting well and make sure you're comfortable. So let's enjoy the first moment of taking in the painting. What do you see? And what draws your attention? Who is at the center of this painting? What story is being told here? What lush colors do you notice? Let's take another step into looking more fully, into noticing more. Sometimes when we allow ourselves to gaze in a relaxed way, we begin to notice more. Let's start in the top left-hand corner of the picture and allow our eyes to move slowly across the painting beginning with the sky, the clouds, details of rooftops in the background. Notice the colours and the shapes of the clouds in the sky. Then as we slowly move down the painting, we reach the horizon. And here, nestled together, we glimpse some rooftops. Now we continue to move down through the fields, really taking time to notice the different colours and textures. Do we see any flowers? Do we see how the shape of the grass is made by the wind?
Can you see someone in the distance? Perhaps someone working in the fields? At the forefront of the painting, we have the young woman with a cow, beautiful brown cow. And in front of her, the bottom left corner of the painting is another farm animal. The artist has created different colours and textures in the bottom half of the field. Using strokes of blue and violet, he has chosen to somehow make the foreground figure stand out. Look at how the artist has painted the cow compared to the rest of the painting. He has chosen to apply the paint in a different way, making the cow look smooth and glossy, as if you could reach out and touch its lush sides. What kind of a scenery are we in? And which country do you think this painting was painted in? What are the clues to let us know where this young woman is from? What do we notice in the background up against the sky, those roofs? What do the houses suggest to us? Noticing the clothes that the young woman is wearing, do they look like the clothes someone would wear on a farm today? More importantly, where do we think this young woman is going with her cow? Look at the expression on her face. Is she happy? Is she a bit discontent, a bit grumpy, possibly? She's looking back over her shoulder at the sheep, which in turn has its head turned, looking behind, looking out of the picture frame. Who or what do you think the sheep is looking at? This is a harmonious painting. Does this young woman want to be working with these animals? So now let's imagine ourselves into the painting. Where would we put ourselves? What do we smell? What do we hear? What language is being spoken? Do you feel comfortable? Where would you put yourself? In conversation with a young woman or far away on the horizon? Perhaps you're in the fields helping to gather the hay or perhaps way out of distance, back at the farm, you're waiting for the young woman to return. Perhaps the cow is returning to the farm to be milked. Did you know this breed of cow is called Fromont du Lyon and it's a breed of dairy cattle from the coastal region of northern Brittany. It's highly valued for its milk, which is yellow and high in fat and particularly good for making butter. So finally, let's think about the qualities of this painting and how does it make you feel? Is there an uneasiness in this painting? echoed by the storm gathering, the clouds gathering on the horizon? Or does it feel like a peaceful, easygoing, simple time that perhaps we no longer have? Do you remember visits to the countryside? And finally, would you have this painting in your home? Where would you put it? So the painting was made by Pierre-Auguste Renoir, who was born in 1841 and lived until 1919. It's called The Return from the Fields and was painted in 1886. Renoir lived in Paris and was one of the leading French Impressionists. He exhibited with other painters such as Monet and Sisley. In 1869, Renoir and Monet worked closely together, developing their unique styles. 
working in the open air to capture the fleeting changes of light and colour and the movement of life in front of them. From early on in his artistic career, Renoir loved painting figures and crowd scenes of people dancing and relaxing in Paris. His love of figures remained throughout his painting career. In the 1880s, Renoir travelled a lot, and in the late summer of 1886, Renoir and his family spent two months in a hamlet near to Saint-Malo in Brittany, in northern France. This is where he painted the return from the fields. And what we are looking at is the hay being collected in the background. The painting presents to us two different painting techniques. The movement and texture of the Impressionist style, with its soft, almost blurred outlines, against a much more clearly defined shape of the cow. Here the paint is smoother, and areas of light and shade have been applied to create form. During his travels, Renoir had visited Italy, where he had seen paintings of the Renaissance masters such as Raphael. And these had a big impact on Renoir, and he chose to move towards a greater definition of form in his paintings. We think this painting demonstrates those two very different styles meeting in a unique and wonderful way. Good to have another painting familiar to us. Good to have moved. Good to have listened and relaxed to music. Thank you.